and welcome back to another video. My name is Leo Trunex Pokemon, um, and welcome back to the channel. So, um, today, uh, well, if you haven't been here before, make sure you go check out some of my previous videos because they're really quite something. Um, on this channel, we mainly do Pokemon pop figures, we, we do some stuff, whatever you'd like to see. Um, today, however, as you can tell, uh, it's themed a bit differently from my usual videos. Excuse me, Bowser Jr. You'll notice that I have some of my pop figures here in the background, and that is because we'll be taking a look at one of the figures that I got today. I just picked up while I was going around shopping, and I thought, hey, why not? It would be um, a, a good change, something new for the channel. Um, so, as you can see in the background, here's a few examples of pop figures that I already previously owned. This is an 8-bit Xenomorph, probably one of my favourite pop figures that I have so far. I just think it's so cool how it's got that blocky texture, and I loved all the Aliens films. Also, I have a bobblehead um, Incredible Hulk from one of the most recent Avengers films. And yeah, really cool. I love seeing these, and I haven't got a pop in a while. Certainly haven't uh, reviewed any, but today I thought we'd change that. I managed to pick up this really funny piece. I thought it was um, the Deadpool as Bob Ross pop figure. I thought it was so clever when I saw it. I love Bob Ross and Deadpool both, so I thought, why the hell not? And it's discount as well. You see that? It goes usually they're like 12, 15 pounds. That went from nine or pretty much ten to seven, which is a bargain. Really cool. Um, so there's the front, of course. You can take a look at the front prof profile. There's the side. Even the bottom if you want. There we go. Deadpool is Bob Ross. Epic stuff. He comes in his own. He isn't in a set or anything, which I think is pretty cool. Number three nineteen. So, uh, hopefully all in one take, let's get right into this. Leo, you can transition into when it's opened. Okay, so, uh, Leo, if you edited that right, now it, he, here he is, out of the packaging. And oh boy, is he just really cool, <laughs> I love that head. Um, I like the bubble head, I'd like to get some more that are not, of course, but they're really cool for what they are. He comes with this really nice... Um, paint palette here, so he's putting his hand through, it's really nice. I loved watching Bob Ross when I was younger, still do. He's got his nice big paintbrush from his intro. Um, excellent, you know, moulding, sculpting, all of that. There's a spring on the inside. Um, it's just really cool. And like all the painting is really nice. I love the afro. The hair is just like so good. Um, I noticed. Oh, here on the bottom, uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe just a bit of. There it is. Just a bit of factory gunk. All stuck along the bottom. Yeah, you thought I wouldn't notice, but I did. The clothes really cool. I love the colours all throughout. Really nice stuff, nice bright eyes, nose as well. It's really cool, really cool piece. Um, there's, I don't think I've missed anything else out in the packaging. No, that's everything. But he's really cool and will definitely go along well with my other figures. It's really cool on my, really cool on my shelf. Um, and he's, he's, you know, average height of a normal pop, uh, bobblehead especially. And, ow! Sorry, that shouldn't even be peeling. Um, I think it's just really cool. I love this dark sort of crimsony red for the suit. Really, really got some nice paint detail going on throughout the whole thing. Um, any scuff ups? There's always going to be scuff ups, let's admit. Um, it's just little patches, little. Sorry, that's my watch. <laughs> Little bits where it will just might not work too well. I was kind of disappointed that bit on the back of the hand, but that's fine. Um, okay, oh, that's some Bob Ross ass. Um, he's yeah, nothing going down on the feet really. <laughs> it's such a big head mass. Kind of looks like. Oh my god, to say what it looks like. Um really nice it's almost as if he's got his 
sword and shield um really excellent stuff um it got the theme of bob ross perfectly and mixed it with deadpool making it just a really happy bit in general um and i'm really glad that this was made it was actually the last one on the shelf i picked up i thought yeah grab it you can do a video on it and i must tell you i'm really happy oh uh, yeah there's another scuff up there let me see if i can move the head out of the way can you see it where the red is rolling up on the sleeve it's, it's fine really i don't mind he's got his nice little collar there i don't know what that's supposed to be maybe he's a maybe he's maybe he's an emo i don't know uh, maybe he likes some punk. Let's put some... That'll be my Naruto uh, fingers falling. Yeah, there goes the tattoo. Anyway, uh, we can get some better lighting on him. There we go. Really nice stuff. Except all the colours as well. Really awesome. Uh, let me move this back up here. Um, as far as the bobble goes, it's <laughs> he's really fast. Um, kind of a bit more stiff than this Hulk one as comparison. This one feels a bit more free. Maybe a bit more of a loose spring. Um, but honestly, I think it's, this is so cool. Um, and I can tell you one thing for sure. This is not a happy little accident. This was made to be. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you look forward to more of these types of videos in the future. I certainly will. Um, next video, or at least next pop video for what I can say now, we will be taking a look at this venomized Iron Man pop, which is really cool. Just a quick sneak peek there. And I'm sure you'll love it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you liked it, there's a button for that. Subscribe to help our channel grow even bigger. 64 subscribers. It's really cool. Really good. Um, subscribe to PewDiePie. Help them out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.